Alright guys, welcome to another video. Alright guys, so this is part 2 of my Windows video to keep your little overly and go gameplay ready. So that's, I just got a few tips to show you guys. It's not going to be a long video, just a few stuff to keep your system um, up and running as smooth as possible. And get rid of all your clutter out of your system to keep your game, to keep your system running smooth for all your games, right? First thing before you do anything. What I want you to do guys to create a restore point because if you're doing anything you might do something and mess up your system and this restore point will be there so that you could always restore back to that point so you're not so you do not have to do a clean reinstall of windows right you go to search you type create restore point mine is already there you click that hit yes with this restore point you're gonna need a hard drive or like a thumbstick anything that you have that's, that's at least 32 gigabyte once you go in here, you hit next. And seeing, see it's warning you, this drive must be at least 32 gigabyte. Everything on this drive will be deleted, right? I don't have a drive plugged in right now because I did a restore point, but I was just showing you how you would do it. Once you do it, once you plug your drive in, you just hit next. It will create that point for you and then you have it always have that just in case anything happens, you can restore back to it. Oh, uh, the next thing I want you guys to do is I already showed this already in my other video, part one, but it's still a good feature to have, so I'm just gonna reiterate about it. You would go to search, and you would type storage or settings. Once you get here, you will see storage sense. You wanna make sure that's on. With this, this automatically clean up all your junk files, clean everything out of your system, and keep it as smooth as possible. You can also mess with the settings and set it to run every day, every week, every month, however you want. Put it every week. But this would all this will keep your system as clean as possible and delete all the stuff you do not need in your system right if you go back if you go to cleanup recommendation you could check downloads as well but it's up to you because see i got one gig in downloads right now but if you do this this would automatically delete all your downloads right so you could leave the uncheck and do it when you feel like it's up to you but after a while all your downloads they pack up and then there will be a lot of they will be using a lot of space in your system. All right, next thing I want you guys to do is go to search. You type appearance. And then you should see adjust the appearance and performance for Windows. Once you click on that, it's going to open this screen right here. And here, you want to change this to adjust for best performance. Then you want to select smooth edges of screen fonts. Then show thumbnail instead of icons. With this right here, it's gonna put less stress on your processor because you're turning off most of the animation that's on your system. That's not needed. It's just for looks and like appearance. So you could turn it off and that will actually give you a little performance boost because it's not working in the background to keep those animation going on your system. Once you do that, you just click apply. All right, so the next thing, I want you guys to change. If you go to advanced, you're gonna see adjust for best performance. You wanna change this to programs, not background services. It's best to keep it on programs because it keeps the best performance for the programs that you have on your system. So do that and then you click apply. All right, so next thing is you can adjust your mouse settings. Once you go in here, you type mouse settings, you click on that. Go to additional mouse settings. Then you go to mouse. Then you're gonna see enhanced pointer pos position, right? Then you're gonna see this option right here, enhanced pointer. You wanna uncheck that. All right, so the next thing is you wanna Turn on game mode, you will go here, you type game mode. Most people are saying they recommend you to keep this off, but in some cases it's good to have it on because it it keeps all the stuff in the background in the background and doesn't interrupt you while you're playing your game. So basically it keeps like all your pop-ups and notification, every stuff in the background at a minimum so that you can have a better experience while playing a game. But some people say it takes a hit on your, your performance while playing but it's still good to have it on to get a better experience because it, it sets your system for game and clear up everything in the background so that you're not interrupted. So it's still kind of good to have it on as well. All right, one more thing you guys could change is your latency with Windows. I mean, I showed this in my other video, but just in case if you guys haven't seen it in the video that I released yesterday, if you go to display, then you go down to graphics, you're gonna see the setting that says change graphic settings in here they want to turn on optimize for windows games when you turn this on this reduce your, this reduce your latency while playing games so this is good to have on so this will reduce your latency and give you a better fluid experience while you're playing 
your games, right? So that's this is good to have on as well. So that's basically just a few stuff that I want to show you guys that I found. And if I find any more, I'll let you guys know. So all these stuff that I showed you in part one, part two, this gives you a better experience while playing your games and keep the stuff in the background closed and off so that you have a better, smoother experience, right? So um, most of the, you don't have to do all of them. You can do some of them. It's up to you. Whatever you think is good for you. But watch part one of the video that's on my channel, which, which is Optimized Windows for Gaming. That should be on my channel. So check that out. Part one. This is part two. Smaller video, but still effective, right? So yeah, so thanks for tuning in, guys. And I would always say health is well. Peace and love. I'm out. And don't forget to hit that like button. Sub to the channel for more awesome content, guys.